Hello, in this video, what I'm going to go through is a fresh install of the app on the watch and on my non Samsung phone. Because a lot of people in the comments have been seeing that they're having problems at certain stages, mostly right at the end. So, hopefully, I'm going to troubleshoot it and show you exactly how to do it. And also, on this fresh install I'm going to do, he's actually updated the app. So it's a brand new update to the app. So we'll see how it goes on that. So this is a recent video I made showing you how to install this app and put it on non Samsung phone. Majority of the comments, people get it working, no problem, but there is still about 10, 20% are having problems with it. So this is a fresh install. I'm using a different phone. This is still a Google Pixel. It's a Pixel 9 Pro on this one. Uh, I've reset the watch, so we're gonna do it. So first, press your options, and then scroll right down about watch. Now what we're gonna do is go to software info, then software version. You wanna tap this, until that appears, which is developer mode turned on. You back out of this, and then there's your development mode option. On this, you wanna go down to ADB debugging. You wanna turn this on. Next, what you wanna do is go on the actual developers page, which is on XDA. The link will be in the description. So you're doing this on your phone, and you wanna scroll down it's quite near the bottom, so you keep going. And it's this one here. SCHM mod. You want to press that. It'll come up asking you your Google account because he's using Google Drive. So you choose your Google account. Press OK. Package installer. And you want to install it. You install and now it's done we'll open that now just dismiss that so it'll tell you if you're on the update the update at present is 767 and we are on that so go to watch press ok here ok now we're going to connect the phone to the watch. So it wants the IP address of the watch and the parent code. You'll fit into there and the parent code goes on the bottom. Right, on the watch, back to your settings, scroll down to developers options. And on this time you want to go on Wi-Fi debugging. Turn that on. And then you want to pair a new device. Now it's giving you the IP address and the parent code. So we'll, we're going to fill them. It's mostly the last two in. So I've got, yours will be different. So you have to put your own one in. Same with your parent code. Type that in and start. The watch will now look for the phone. You've got to be on the same Wi Fi. I believe you can use Hotspot as well. Now it's found it. Proceed and successfully we are done. So that is now working. Now we need to get the app. For the watch so we need to download it to our phone and then send it to the watch so click this one click the download button let it download now i'm getting an error here this could be because whilst recording this video it's only just been updated so if you do you might not get this error but if you do 
Let's download it again. Still getting the error. It's telling us it's still downloaded. And when it downloads your phone, it puts it into a folder, which is the SHM folder. So we go select, and you can see I've downloaded a few times here, but them two I've done. The time was 1558, so it's actually there. It has downloaded it. So we just press it. Press OK. OK. And now it will start to transfer that app or install that app to the watch. So you just let it go. It actually has granted and whitelisted the app. Sometimes it might not, it depends on your phone. You might have to go further down the screen and do that, but it has done it here. So that's been installed and I'll check that. I'll just go to me apps now that is the stock samsung health app which won't work because i don't have a samsung phone so i just move right at the bottom and this is the modded version which works yes but you still we're still not finished yet so it's all there now in the comments a lot of people have been seeing this is the bit they're struggling on so they press this it tells you to open Press the app on the phone and it should open. But what's actually taking it to is the Galaxy Store, the Samsung Galaxy Store, to download the official app, which we don't need. So I'm going to show you how to get around this. So we need to go back to the developers page. Now that was the app we downloaded, but we're going to go a bit further up here. It's Google Drive. Again, you have to choose your google account now here is all the apps so it's brand new this one and it's an a12 so we need the a12 apk file which is here click on the three buttons go to download it will start downloading it took me about five minutes to download this file it might because it was brand new when you do this it might come down straight away so I've speeded the video up and it's downloaded but it took about five minutes to do this so once we're done we use your file explorer on your phone and see where it's downloaded to and there it is there we just click on it package installer install just let it install now and then open, accept this. This is where you'd have to put a profile in, just like if you're doing the stock one. So you fill all that in. Once you're done on that bit, then you're ready to calibrate it really. I'm not gonna show you in this video, my previous video show you how to do that. But if I'll show you now on the watch, what would happen. So previously it took us to the Samsung store, but now when I press it, it's in the app. Now it's set up this, same with the blood pressure. Click on that and it takes us to that. So it all works, but it you would need to calibrate it all up. And that's it. So hopefully you know how to do it and set it up. And if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much.